and we're here with a car droid. So, who are you? So, uh, we're a group of company located in uh, Canada, Europe, uh, Hong Kong, and we make this device in Shenzhen. All right. Yeah. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Canada. From Canada. <laughs> and uh, this is running Android? Yeah, it's on Android 4.4. Uh, we integrated uh, Android with OBD, so the device has uh, SD card, uh, SIM card, uh, external uh, connector for GPS antenna and uh, 3.5 uh, audio jack. So you also do all the music? You do, what do you do in the car? What is uh, this? It's, a, it's not probably for entertainment, it's more for yeah. safety. So, uh, the device has uh, two motion sensors. First motion sensor is uh, both high level sensitive sensor. Uh, it's embedded in the Android PCPA. So, uh, we can uh, monitor what's going on with the car in real time. And if something happens with the car, like unusual behavior or a car crash, yeah. so uh, we can detect that something happened. You can detect it, and uh, later you will be able to reconstruct the situation. So it's like a car black box. So does that exist already? What's going on in the? Yeah, it exists. So this is uh, an engineering prototype. We are working uh, to finish certification process. Uh, FCC, CE. We are going to start to sell it in two three months. So it's for security, it's for measuring what's going on? Yeah. But is it also to see this in a dashboard in real time? Or is it only for recording? Or what is it for? For recording and you can see uh, what's going on with the car in real time. Because the device has a uh, SIM card, a 3G, it supports HDPA protocol, so you can see what's going on in real time. Uh, as well as the device has two, wi two Wi-Fi modules. Yeah. Uh, uh, one Wi-Fi model you also can use to upload data. Uh, another Wi-Fi model uh, we use to get uh, location even uh, when GPS signal is not available. So perhaps some companies who rent out the car, they can see what the yeah, customers are doing, right? Yeah. Is that a good that, idea? That's correct. They can yeah. see real time how fast they're going, yes. where they're going. Yes. Even they can get data from the car engine in real time. All right, and uh, the car motion. So, what is this name of this car connector uh, there? This is standard car, in every car, car right? Yes. The name of this device is Cardroid. Cardroid, and the the connector on the bottom here is standard in every car. Yeah. For how long has every car has this? Uh, for like 25 years. 25 years. What do what do cars do with this in this port today? So uh, you can do a lot with this device. First of all, yeah. you can use it for safety, uh, for security as well, because we have a second uh, motion sensor and yeah. it works uh, on microwave. Uh, for example, if you park your car in somewhere and another guy came and break a window, gets into a car, uh, you will be notified immediately that someone is inside the car. You can track it, find out where it is, find it again. Yes, as well as well. Even if you car, if you park your car underground, there is no GPS signal. However, we can get a signal based on Wi-Fi, like Wi-Fi location. Nice. How much is the power consumption? And uh, what's the CPU? CPU is dual core. CPU yeah. 1.2 gigahertz. It has ARM uh, processor. Yeah, it's yeah. ARM MT, uh, yeah. MediaTek MTK. Yeah. Uh, the device has 4 GB of internal memory, uh, SIM card, micro SIM card, micro SD card. All right. Yeah, uh, BLE uh, Bluetooth low energy, so you can connect uh, third party sensors like uh, external sensor with Bluetooth inside, like motion sensor, any gas or smoke sensor, you can say list of sensors, even we can integrate uh, any other sensors. Uh, the car black box concept yes. is already That's existing. Uh, some yeah, so some car black box they exist, but uh, they, but, but they uh, don't have uh, this kind of uh, functionality. This device has wide range. You are like the, the ultimate car black box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, we are also a software company. One of our company they make software yeah. for Android. 
uh, we can upgrade our application yeah. on this device easily, yeah. even remotely. Uh, so how soon is it mass production? Two, and three months. When, two, we, three months? When, when, when we finish certification process. So just certification is needed? Yeah. Is that uh, smooth? Is it easy to do? Or different countries different or what? A different countries different. Uh, we concentrate primarily on North American market. All right. And also Europe, Europe can contact you. Everybody can. Europe can, yeah. And the car companies could be interested? Uh, yes. So yeah. uh, we just started to promote this device and uh, hopefully it will be popular. What's the price? Price starts around 150 US dollars. How much? 150. 150. 150 dollars. That would be retail price or, or, or mass mass uh, big order price. Uh, big order price. Big order price. All right. Yeah. So also we are gonna start Kickstarter soon. Uh, in a couple of weeks, hopefully people will, will like it and uh, will get a lot of feedback. I hope. So to kick it up, to kickstart it, and then how much will be on Kickstarter? It will be 200 Canadian dollars. 200 uh, Canadian dollars is yeah, uh, it's, it's uh, around uh, 150 US dollars. 150. Everybody can get on Kickstarter. On Kickstarter uh, in a couple of weeks. All right, Cardroid. Cool.